What is happening, people, and welcome to Storytime with Papa Olsru. So I'm sure some of you are kind of shocked by the title of this video, and do not worry, uh, it is not a career change for me. What happened was, though, that even in my old ripe age of 38, uh, my ego still gets in the way a little bit. So on Monday, I was supposed to work up on heavy triples for the front squat. Now, heavy triple for the front squat for me typically lands somewhere in the low 500s. And that 500 for a triple is kind of one of those benchmarks where I kind of test myself. That's kind of something where I know I can always get it, but it's always super challenging for me. Well, so there I was. So I was working on my front squats, working up, just making big plate jumps like 135, 225, 315, got up to 455, got my triple, re-racked it, and I looked at Nick and said, things, things aren't moving very well today. And Nick, yes, he pretty much said, uh, I, I don't think you have it today. My wife also said, um, you, don't, you don't have it. Really, every single person that was in the room was like, um, yeah, not, not today. However, if I always listen to people, I'd probably never hurt myself. So I turned to Nick and I said, well, I'm gonna throw 500 pounds on. And Nick said, I know. And so again, there I was. I dropped him for my first rep and it did not feel good at all. The world was getting weird. I was feeling like I was gonna pass out. However, my brain said 500 for a triple is something that you always get. You will not miss this. You will will this weight up. Yeah. <laughs> During that second rep, I actually had to take a step forward to keep the bar on my shoulder, which was actually uh, probably a mistake now looking at it in hindsight. And then the beautiful thing even then was that Nick and Olu still had convinced me to not go for the third rep, because I'm smart. So in this awesome collaboration of stupidness, I kind of tweaked my back a little bit. Now when I say I tweak my back, it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. So uh, basically where I'm at right now is in my upper back up here. If I twist too fast or I move the wrong way, uh, it grabs and literally I don't have breath anymore. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you who lift heavy weights, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But a lot of people are not initiated this type of thing. We'll take a situation like this and say, I'm hurt, I need time off, but in reality, that's probably about the worst thing I could possibly do right now. And here's Kono's butt. Now in my 38 years, I've sustained some really, really horrible injuries, not so much from lifting, but from other things in life. Um, and I've done a lot of videos about how I've come back from that, from breaking my back twice, having my hip flexor paralyzed, all kinds of bad things have come along. So if you guys are seriously injured, there's a difference there. Injured means pretty much that you're going to hospital, you're probably gonna get surgery, you're in for a long haul. If you are hurt, typically means that you need to take a little bit of time off or work around it. Um, and then you have situations that I'm in right now, like where if I twist too fast or I do something wrong, it seizes up, I can't breathe, and uh, very, very painful, very, very uncomfortable. However, this is just kind of tweaked, but I'm not particularly good either. Now in my program today, I'm supposed to be doing the log clean and press for reps, and uh, honestly, that's not gonna happen. So since I can't do what I'm supposed to, I go down the hierarchy of importance of moves that I think that could kind of replace what I'm supposed to do. So basically I go down and I say, all right, you're supposed to do the log cleaner press. Can you do it? Nah. How about the split jerk? Nope. Push press? Definitely not. The strict press? Getting closer, however, I still think I'm gonna lean back and that back's gonna grab, so probably not. Seated shoulder press? No. So I'm thinking that pretty much leaves the Z press. Whenever you have something going on with your body that won't allow you to do the thing that you're actually supposed to do, you can still get a great workout in if you're willing to work around it. So I figured for this video, what I would do is just kind of take you guys along with me, show you guys what I'm doing, and uh, kind of explain how I'm going to work around having my back a little bit jacked up. So unfortunately for the day, I need to throw away the whole be dangerous, do strong man, you know, actually uh, do some lifts that challenge me, and I'm gonna have to do something that I never thought I ever do. Nick, make me a bodybuilder. <laughs> It'd be good. So initial thoughts about bodybuilding. Number one, I feel like I look ridiculous. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, Jack. Secondly, as you guys can see, I'm still doing giant sets and stuff because literally ever since I switched over giant sets many, many moons ago, I literally cannot lift with straight sets anymore. It is just absolutely, uh, I, I don't know how people do a set and they sit down and chill out. I would only lift for like 12 minutes if that happened. I can't. I can't have downtime if I'm in the gym. If I'm in the gym, I'm working the entire time. So, um, never out of breath, never not sweating. Hopefully, this goes well so far. It's going okay. I'm gonna try to keep my rep range a little bit higher than I normally would. Um, but so far, at the really, really light weights, back feels pretty decent.
Almost guys, just want to clarify, I'm not, I'm not making fun of bodybuilding whatsoever. I absolutely respect bodybuilding. It just doesn't excite me personally as like a sport. And number two, I can't imagine what you guys go through so much discipline, especially when you're dieting and all that kind of stuff. Like, I can't imagine going through all of that and then stepping up on stage and because someone doesn't like you or because they didn't see things the way that, man, it's really, really hard to go through all this sacrifice and stuff. Like, if I deadlift 700 pounds, there's no question whether I did it or didn't do it. Like, to have somebody just casually looking at you after all that sacrifice of time, man, that's, you guys have a level of uh, patience and, uh, I don't know, you're much nicer people than I am. That said, of course, I absolutely do care how I look. Everyone cares how I look. They're lying if they say they don't. But ever since I was a little kid, I always thought it'd be ridiculous to have big muscles if you couldn't do the things that big muscles kind of advertise that you could. But then conversely, I could see someone who was super, super strong, but really, really fat. And I remember being a young child going, man, that's not really what I want either. I want something in the middle, something that's like where you have decent amount of muscle mass, but you're also lean, but most of all, you can perform. You're both athletic, big, strong, you're kind of the whole package. And so my entire lifting career since I was a kid, when I started like 13 up until now, that has really been the main focus. There's been ins and outs where I've been focused more on straw man or focused more on fighting or whatever the case would be. But um, as far as my actual goals, I've never wanted to be a bodybuilder. Um, that said, I, I have always cared about my body. So when I say um, that I really don't care, that is true, I mean, to an extent. I mean, I'm not really willing to let myself get unhealthy to get bigger weights up or anything like that. So um, it's definitely a dichotomy, but I have a feeling that there's a lot of you out there watching this that are in the same exact boat as me, that it's not so much about being as big as a pro bodybuilder or as strong as an elite level powerlifter. It's kind of like somewhere in the middle. So um, hopefully what I'm showing you guys and the stuff that I'm sharing with you on my channel will help you guys get there faster because I've made all the mistakes. So hopefully if you guys can learn from me, you guys won't take as long and you will for far, far surpass me. So let's go back to this bodybuilding stuff. One thing I definitely will say about bodybuilding workouts is that I'm not used to counting this high, guys. Like when I go to like 12s and stuff, I feel like I start over like six times. I count the threes and threes high. So just do a bunch of sets of three. But as you guys can see, I'm still able to get a decent workout. There's nowhere near something that I normally do, but I'm still able to get my shoulders and work on some of my weak points so that hopefully it's not a missed day. And then when I move forward into back, when I get back into my normal routine, uh, I don't get knocked back quite as far from just having a little bump and bruise from my tweaked up back. I'm sorry, I'm feeling really, really sick right now and I'm having a lot of problems concentrating. I'm gonna go finish up this last set though. I'll meet you back here for the video recap because I need to get coaching. All right guys, so the puking's not gonna stop. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video now. Guys, I just wanna thank you so much for joining me on this. So as you guys can see, just because your back is messed up or you have some other problem doesn't mean that you can't work around it. There are so many things that you can still get done in the gym and getting blood to the area. Blood is what absolutely heals anything. So if you guys just want to sit around and wait for something to get better, most time that just extends the time that you are off. So I would highly recommend that if you do have something tweaked, now I'm saying if it's tweaked, not that you're actually hurt or that you're injured, don't be stupid, but if you're smart and you know that you're not actually in a really, really bad situation, then I would highly encourage you to get in the gym and you try to work around as best you can because a missed day is still gonna be a missed day and too many of those end up just becoming a habit. Just not a good thing, guys. If you can stay in the habit of continually going to the gym, keep that consistency up, no matter whether you're hurt or not hurt, 
it can really, really help. Plus, you had a benefit of mentally knowing that you're actually in there working towards an end goal, as opposed to just kind of sitting around passively waiting for something to happen. So, um, guys, I know this is much different of a video than I normally do, but uh, it's kind of a situation I know a lot of people are in for time to time, so I thought I'd share my experience and hopefully it helps some of you out. So I thank you guys so much for absolutely everything you're doing. I will catch you later in the week, but until I do, go out to something amazing, realize, keep working on people, be nice to each other, and I'll see you then.